Hello everyone, this is Pradeep. So today I'm going to talk about the latest updates on UiPath Studio 2021.6.0. In this, uh, we are going to talk about modern Excel activities. So to do that, uh, let's start with, with creating a process. Uh, let's say a modern Excel. Modern Excel test something. something. So before that, we need to change it from target classic to modern and click on create. So make sure you guys are having a 2021. Oh, what is it? Uh, 2021.6.0, okay. Modern Excel test. So modern create so currently i'm having the beta 4514 so let's open the main workflow in activities panel as you can see uh, we have a uh, classic excel activities so in order to enable uh, modern excel activities we have to go to the project setup uh, project project panel and then settings and in the left side of the window so you can see uh, excel modern so uh, by default it has uh, use classic you need to choose use modern and click on ok yep so now we can see so we can see the changes in activity panel so excel as you can see, we have a uh, Excel modern Excel activities. So let's uh, test few. So let's go. I'm going to create a sample Excel file for me. Um, test. So employee, employee name, employee. ID ABC DF into three. I'm going to save this. I'm just going to copy the path of it. So, in previously, we used to have a Excel application scope to read this. Now, we need to use a use Excel file. To just pass the path here workbook path and you can use the excel variable as a reference and if you want to save the changes every time when it reads it, it will open so if you're not allowed to save every time you need to check this create if not exist reading format we have four read default raw value and display value and you can choose anything i'm going to go for uh, the draw value now uh, let's see the property panels you can choose a read only and if you can if you are product for password for password protected excel you can use that and uh, i'm going to try few activities in here so let's say i need to delete a column okay now uh, as you can see with the draw, drag drop the delete column activity and the source we need to uh, pro provide a, a range so you can click plus here and excel and you just indicate that sheet sheet name you will get it in a minute yeah so once you click on that you'll get a default uh, syntax here so if you don't want that click just change that plus you can directly indicate it in excel let's say i want to delete uh, this is a select range table in worksheet and confirm so i'm going to do that and click on confirm but i'm not going to do that you can just click on confirm and it will give the range there and 
and if you want to add manually custom input you can select the table name range and sheet to give a sheet name will give you the right you can just type it here so by default i'm going to choose as a excel sheet one only so you need to uncheck this because i don't have headers now the column name you have to give a let's say i'm i'm, I'm going to delete b column um, b capital b yeah let's try this so yeah i'm going to run this i think excel will be visible let's see yeah uh, let's open the excel As you can see, you got a Excel like Excel deleted. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to cover all the possible available Excel activities in the coming videos. So let's say in your in, if you want to use the classics also, like uh, for example, in the previous um, we had Excel application, right? Excel application scope. So we don't have right so in order to use this use use this also so you have to go to the project click on settings uh, sorry not here and uh, there is that activity filter you can see there are a lot of uh, studios packages versions you need to click on show classic and you can now just search it excel locations there you go so we have that you can make it of both if it is required or else you can uncheck it from the filter filter button that's it so thank you guys uh, i'll be covering the most of the uh, activities in the coming videos thanks for watching